the patients I look after tend to have feeding tubes either in the nose and are fed into the stomach or the jejunum, or some patients have feeding tubes that go through the stomach and feed them directly into the stomach or bypass the stomach and go into the jejunum. And I suppose ultimately our aim is to keep that patient out of hospital and ensure that the patient has sufficient nu nutrition. We also deal with complications such as nausea and vomiting, diarrhea, reflux, tubes blocking, tubes falling out, tubes breaking, and infection after stomacite. We've been supporting patients to stay well and stay safe during the COVID pandemic and to help avoid unnecessary hospital visits. We've recently upskilled several dietitians to be able to change gastrostomy tubes. These tubes are normally changed by Abbott nurses or, hos or at hospital appointments. We were recently able to put these skills into practice when we had a COVID positive patient whose tube had become blocked with medication. This is a skill that we'd really like to retain within the dietetic department. So we're developing a competency framework so that we can support dietitians who'd like to train in this area. I work as a diabetes dietitian, helping patients to improve their blood glucose levels and overall health through diet and lifestyle changes. You'll normally find me delivering group education sessions across the city, or you can come to see us in clinics or in home visits if you need to. It's really important at a time like this to be looking after your diabetes. So if you need any help or support in doing this, then please ask your GP to refer you in to see a dietitian or another healthcare professional who can help with this. A major part of our role is counselling and working with people to negate these barriers associated with eating and drinking. Being able to establish that rapport and trust relationship with patients and their family. One of the biggest things that I currently miss during lockdown is that face-to-face -face contact with patients who can sometimes make your day. And the people in Liverpool have a fantastic sense of humour.